Friday. It is Friday. Thank goodness. How's life on the Matco truck? Fun as always. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Better than, man, that's terrible this week. No, it's it's been a good week. We uh we went to the pumpkin patch yesterday with uh, my middle daughter. Yeah. So even with that, it's still been a good week. So it's been a busy week. Today it's going to be just as busy from what it seems like. Uh, we almost missed the bus this morning, but we <laughs> did. So a good thing. <laughs> you know, there's a line in the sand. It's like all right, almost missing the bus is still on the good side. So yeah. uh, missing the bus would have been a little different, but we didn't. So. Uh, kids were happy when they got on the bus. That's always a plus as well. So we'll see how the day goes. Yeah, we got good. a busy day planned. Well, so what? Uh, what new and cool stuff we got? So today we got a two-in-one digital tire gauge with pin light. Yeah, uh, that's a little bitty one. Little bitty. Uh, it's not as small as you know your average tire gauge but this one is digital so that adds a little bit of size I like it I say I like it we're looking at it for the first time I like the idea of it um, it's got 3 to 150 psi so that does that does help uh, especially for you, you start seeing some of the digital tire uh, they fall off at like 60 65 yeah. well that cuts half of your um, people out especially your big truck guys mm -hmm. um so like this one i could actually check my tire pressure with it um i think uh max on mine's 125 we usually run it about 110 so we'd definitely be able to check it and have a little bit of spare it does have a backlight with it as well it looks like it's got a flashlight on it it does have a flashlight it has the pin light on it uh so that's an added feature got a flashlight there that's nice. Um, it will fit in your pocket. It does read PSA, bar, KPA, KG, CM2. I'm not sure what that is. KG and CM2. No clue. Uh, I guess it, I've just always read PSI and bar. So, um, hey, we got it on there anyway. So if you do have to use that, that works. It does have a USB-C charger. And we've talked that plenty of times on the lights. We want all yeah, the lights absolutely. to go to the same one. So <laughs> that does help. Uh, but overall weight I know y'all can't see the weight overall weight looks to be good it does appear to have a magnet there so oh, side of your toolbox uh, if you don't want it sticking in your pocket which I get it it is kind of bulky I like that magnet well, let's see if wow I can... that thing's nice right there it is and it does have uh, it has one for your lights and then one for your tire pressure. If you press it once, it changes it to the different readings. Like I said, I'd keep it on the PSI. It does have a battery indicator too, so it's not one of these. Uh, nothing makes me madder than something that's electric that doesn't have an indicator and it's like yeah, on and or not on. You know, so. Every time you need it, about the time you get to where you're going, it goes dead. Yeah. yeah. Well, and that's the thing. It's. Uh, if you can tell me my battery's about low, I can find time. Mm -hmm. If it's just, hey, try to cut it on. If it comes on, it's got battery. Yeah. I, it's going to screw me over every time. So. so let me get the part number because that's yeah. cool. And unless that thing's just stupid expensive, I'm going to buy one of those because that's really nice. DT PLG 851. Now that is really nice. So it looks like they list for seventy five. All right. Online. So good. I need, I, I need I, one of them in my life today. Between the flashlight and that, I was gonna see if it would tell me the. Let's just bring out the instructions. That's perfect for a truck door. Right there. That's it, man. Uh, I can see me having one of these in my Tundra. Uh, and the thing about it is, before uh, I finally got it fixed. I would have definitely needed it because my tire pressure light did not work. So, well, I've got the tire pressure sensors in mine, but yep. one of them don't work. Well, see, I so, mine was like that for a while. I'm not going to take that off and replace it until I need some tires. Cause right. That's just how I roll. It ain't no fun. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I walk around my vehicle to get in it anyway, so you know. 
Yeah. Like that's the one when I come out of my garage, it's the first one I see anyway. So yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna wait. So the work light on it, it looks like uh, the cob light is 180 lumens and then it has a 90 lumen light is also. So 180, min, uh, 180 lumen light, that's, that's good. Seems pretty fair. Yeah. But all around good light. Well, I hope you got more than one of them. I've got one. It come oh. in today, so. Well, uh, sorry for I, everybody else. This. That's week. okay. <laughs> they don't. They haven't seen it yet, so that's yeah, okay. There you go. They uh, will now. That's it. But yeah, I, I gotta have that. That's that's pretty cool. Pretty cool light. Yeah. That's that's a nice little rig right there. That's all right. Well, I was expecting the toolbox to be gone. Well, I figured I, you'd have sold the toolbox this week. We have a couple of people approved for it. Uh, some of them don't even know they're approved for it yet. They get to find out today. Oh, so we'll see that. how that goes. Um, we've got a couple of people who wanted carts. Uh, they mm -hmm. were on the edge of a, a cart or a box. Um, and we've got three carts that come in yesterday. we got to go pick them up this week. So nice. we'll see how it goes. Well, the nickel ratchets, are they only in... 3H drive, or are they doing them in all sizes? Uh, right now, I think it's just the 3.8s, but I think they told us they were going to expand it to quarters. the others. Because uh, I want to get a quarter blue handle too to go with. Yeah, they uh, they, from my understanding, they were going to expand it off of uh, how well they did and everything like that. But, um, I mean, if we're going to do them in one size, let's do them in all. Because I'm the type of person that if I buy it in the three eighths, if I like it enough in three eighths, I'm gonna yeah. want a half and a quarter in it as well. So, absolutely. I know you may not start off and do every side, like every mm -hmm. different length. Right. Um, if you want to do this length and then you know a certain length and a quarter, a certain length and a half, I can understand that. But let's just let's at least have it in a different version. So. Well, if they got it in quarter, or when they come out with a quarter, right. order yeah. me one and stick it back, and I'll get it from you. Well, do I'd it like for to sure. have that for sure. We can do um, that. There was something else I was going to ask you today too. I can't remember what it was. Well, we do have. Um, it's in the works. It's supposed to be here probably early next week. We're going to talk about the new Milwaukee, the new half inch Insider. version. Oh, the new half inch. Yeah. Version. So when it comes in, we'll definitely talk about it. Sweet. Uh, it's been one of those weeks, like I said, it's been busy, so some stuff made it, some stuff didn't, but that's all right. Well, speaking of made it, did the uh, stuff I ordered come in? Not yet. Not um, one, actually, let me back up. One of them did, and I forgot it at the house okay. on the table, so uh -huh. uh, I can either swing that by or drop it no, off next week. We'll do it next week. It ain't no hurry. We're going to do a giveaway on it, so this will give everybody a... Yeah. Kind of a pre-warning next week's going to be a giveaway. So. Yeah, like I said, we almost missed the bus, so that it, <laughs> it was a fun morning. But <laughs> we'll what? definitely get it. I'm have sure y'all ever had to drop them off in the Matco truck before? Uh, have not had to drop them off in the Matco truck. Uh, there's only two seats, so we have had to drop them off to where she'll run them to school and I'll wait on her. And yeah. I don't do the school traffic. I'm not very good with that kind of The drop-off's not bad. The pickup in the afternoon is horrible. I, yeah, I, but I've uh, learned a secret. If you don't even get there till three o'clock, you usually just zip on there. Yeah, it's the getting there early is what will key. I won't even go that way after two o'clock because yeah. I well, I can remember sitting in school looking out the window and at like one forty five people start lining up. We didn't get out to three, so yeah, I don't have crazy. that kind of patience. <laughs> so <laughs> it no. is crazy. All right, guys. So you got to see something new and cool with the digital inflator, not inflator, but the digital tire pressure gauge with the flashlight. That was cool. So, all right, next week we'll have a giveaway as long as the kids ain't late for the bus. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, you take your finger, click that button. You have a great weekend. See ya.